Welcome back, anglers! I'm the Survival Vis, and we're gonna call it Wild the Angler on Trollsport. We're going to get to Trollsport in a moment, but the uh, latest update to the Angler's been out, and it adds probably one of the things I've had as a long nitpick for the game ever since its initial release, and that is we can finally choose the time of day we go into the map at. So when we get into this screen to pick your map, you can see at the very bottom of the middle there we have time day. We can go for any morning, daytime, evening, or night. So I think we're going to go right for a night, uh, load into Trollspurt at night. Ooh, might even be able to see the Aurora on this map. But this will let us target any nocturnal species more easily. And it is something that has finally been addressed to, again, long-standing, ever since the game initially released, there's always the thing of, why can you not set the time of day if you do have, like, certain species that are active only at certain hours? Or, like, more active at certain hours? So that really has hit the final nitpick I think I have had when it comes to Call of the Wild the Angler. And we're going to hop right in, see what we have in our list to go for. And I think we're into the last few gold requests for, uh, yeah, no condition here. And truth be told, I think the Bream is actually one of the fish that is a nocturnal species. Yeah, it is. Night Owl. So that'll help a fair bit. I just have to figure out if we're in the right location for that, which looks like we are. So this works out perfectly. I just need to see... Okay, I've got the red worm. Is that one of the things listed for them? Uh... Brr, 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 brr. It does say boilies and... Uh, pearl barley. You know, with the pearl barley there, maybe we'll try that instead. Oh, actually, I can't use pearl barley because the hook size is, I think, too big for them. Okay, so with the hook size chart I've got on the left here, Bream looks like it is four or three. And I've got a four on there right now. So what else could we use? Uh, Bloodworm I think is too small. We don't have dog biscuits right now. We could try... Maybe we'll try liver or dough, because apparently those will work. Uh, truthfully, I don't think I've... Yeah, I haven't even caught anything with liver yet, so... This will be interesting. Ooh, but... There's the Aurora I was talking about. Yeah, finally they added this to the game. The ability to choose your time data fish at is perfect. It lets any species that I've had like issues going for, like the Burbit are now one I can go for, the Breams, even back on Golden Ridge, I can have better uh, chances at certain ones. I can understand why they couldn't add it in a way of like, say, you're loaded into a map doing so, because if you have multiplayer enabled, that's going to have one person can basically switch the entire time of day for anybody on their server or in said server. I can see that being a little more finicky, try sorting out. But having it so that way before you load in, you can choose the time of day and to change it, you can just main menu and load back in. I think is a very good solution for it. So we'll see if we can catch a gold rank bream. I think that's a Xander actually. I don't know if it's coming in for our bait, or it's just swimming- Ooh! Nope, it's coming in for ours. Yeah, I think that's a Xander, but let's reel it in and see for sure. Oh, no, oh, a bronze rank Xander. Okay, I will release you out. You're a nice little bit of credits, actually. And yeah, again, species that I've never gone for before, we now might be seeing. Because truthfully, Troll Spirit, there's a lot of things in the handbook we haven't even caught yet. Uh, the Alpine Bullhead, the European Bullhead, the Burbit, the Bullhead, the Dace, and the Ruff. Now, not all of these are nocturnal species. It actually looks like the Alpine, the Burbit, and the Catfish are all nocturnal, though, so we'll have better chances at them. But now, the only thing I can think of for Call of the Wild the Angler to get is more quality of life little additions or more content in the way of like fishing methods like you could add more species in i suppose but i feel like the bigger thing is to have more different ways of playing the game and just like having more of the same to go for like i don't really think there's a way i could see to feasibly vary up a lot of the species and like how you fight them and reel them in but other types of fishing methods like again fly fishing there is still a thing about bottom feeding or bottom fishing where I don't know if we will see you have, like, you can put the rod on a stand or not. I think that's one thing they... Were those snowflakes? Uh, maybe, or maybe just bugs. Kind of hard to say. 
I kind of am surprised for, like, it being night how bright it is, but I think, like, it, high in the northern hemisphere, you do have where the nights can be really bright or sometimes you don't even have night or you have it perpetual day, too. But, uh, to do, as I was trying to say, yeah, the only things I could see are really just expanding upon ways you might play or can fish in Call of the Wild the Angler. Like, spin casting is one I like because you have more active engagement than you just toss the line out and wait for something to happen. But I don't know if we will see things like fly fishing or oceanic fishing ever brought in. It's just stuff I have to kind of wait and see what happens or gets done to it. If there is a method I would like to see brought in, I'd probably have to lean to fly fishing. Just because I feel like that one, you can kind of incorporate the maps a little more with them. And you can do things like you find the materials to tie your own flies. There's going to be little customization options there to help you target species more readily. Feels like that one has a little bit more you could play around with and give more uh, depth to than anything else. What do we got here? Because I can't really see it. No, oh, I think it's another Xander, isn't it? Yeah, that looks like another Xander. Eh, just another bronze rank, but we'll still toss it back. And, okay, so... I think... Uh, I'm going to try dough now. Like, I... I might actually have to try bottom fish, or use the bottom rod for trying to go for the bream here. I know... It seemed like it was a bit of a varied amount that the Bream may go for, but with them being a bottom lurker. And I'm pretty sure... Just double check. Yeah, it says Night Owl. More active at night. So hopefully it's just about uh, finding the right bait and lining it up for one. Now, technically, to the hook sizing chart that I'm reading, it looks like they would gold ones can go for hook sizes of 4 and 3. So, depending on how we keep going, I might even step up the hook size and try what a 3 does out here. But yeah, it is nice to see the uh, time of day changed over, and I do want to thank all the people in the comments who have been letting me know about certain uh, quality of life additions to the angler that you might not even know you can do, because I don't know if the game ever like brings it to your attention. Like, that your vehicle is basically a mobile storage box, where if you go to the back of it, you can access your uh, tackle box and inventory and switch out there. If you can fast travel to your vehicle, you now have this option to change the time of day. It's a lot of good quality of life things that have taken quite a while before they got added the angler. But no matter when they do get added, they're going to be appreciated, I am very sure of. But, yeah, it just becomes now... Is there anything else to do to kind of change it up a little more? I still do have this kind of feeling of it'd be nice to have, like, say, on each of the maps, there's, like, a little cabin or something where you interact with a door, and you can kind of make your own, like, little personal fishing cabin or fishing lodge. You can have certain species hanging on walls. Again, even if they want to keep the conservationist approach of you catch and release everything... But just record the measurements and wait and have, like, a fake replica made of it. Even though you can even have it mounted beside a picture of what you actually did catch for uh, the sake of such. I don't seem like anything's too interested in that. So I'm going to bring that in. And maybe I will try for... Is that a Xander over there? Uh, maybe. I couldn't tell exactly what that was at the water's surface. Okay, but yeah, let's go for... Okay, go for this. And go for that. Although, I think I need to... Yeah, I need to change the hook size. Ah, we'll try a three. That might be too much for the rod to handle. But we'll give it a shot anyway and see. If it is, then we'll just take the hook off of uh, the other rod and switch them around. But back to my thinking about, like, if they do bring in fly fishing, I could see that helping to add more purpose to, like, a lot of areas of the map. You can go to certain spots, grab, like, parts of things, like, uh... 
maybe different kinds of wood, find scrap metals. I'm trying to think of what all is used for fly fishing, because I know sometimes there's like some feathers you can use for such. I've never done myself. It's admittedly something that'd be neat to try and learn about, but it can also be a little bit of a barrier for entry, too. I just feel like that'd be a good way of incorporating the maps to have a little more use than just... I mean, sure, the sites and such are nice, but if you could have a practical application to carry over the map to the fishing as well, I think that'd be pretty handy. Kind of like how the starting stuff for Trollspurt had you go about certain spots to find, like, uh, your reel, the rod. There is actually to find a lure, too, but I'll hold off on that till maybe we get Noken's shown completely done. Yeah, we just gotta wait it out and see. Truth be told, it feels like night is already almost over, like... I mean, there are still some stars in the sky, but the aurora seems gone. This is... I don't even know if the flashlight is working anymore. I'm not sure if it's changed over to dawn already, or like, how it went. Maybe I should try going out more for evening, so that way uh, the night is longer? Don't really know. Nope. Uh, we'll just give it a few more minutes and see. I think usually for uh, the bottom rod, it, it takes a while before you might get interest in it. Yeah, after we have the bream, I'm just going to check and see... Oh, we've only got one other one to go for, that gold rank asp. But that one I actually have to stop at the shop because I don't have the hook sizes for it. Because that needs... yeah, two and a one. I think this, the rod should be able to handle it, but I might actually have to pick up a new thing of lime as well for it. We just need this bream and then we can go on our way, but... Yeah, it feels like it's completely changed from night to... I didn't even say later morning. Any moment now would be nice for, like, anything to hit the line. Might have to even pick up uh, dog biscuits, apparently. Yeah, see, boilies, natural, pellets, regular, pearl barley, eggs, bread, dough, artificial corn, corn. There's a fair bit that they go for, but none that's struck yet. I'll give it another minute or two. If nothing has shown any interest, I'll bring it out and swap for something else. I might even try the corn, because... I mean, it's not to say there's any carryover, but I know when we were going for the lake trout, I think the corn was what they liked more so than uh, anything else I had used. See, I haven't even felt like a nibble or anything, so I'm going to bring this in. Put the corn on, and... I'm going to try back here. I doubt it's going to affect... Oh, actually, I'm surprised how deep that is for, like... It doesn't look like we're that far from shore, but that's apparently close to 8 meters deep. That is... Doo -doo -doo, about 3 feet per meter. Yeah, that's over 20 feet deep. We just gotta have a little bit of time. Once we are into, like, uh, the other hubs of the map that have, like, the other fishing challenges, the bronze and silver should just zoom right by. The hardest part is, well, I shouldn't say hardest, but the longest part is just gonna be reaching the spots for them. Because so far, we've done a lot of stuff all to the north. But there's a lot of southern areas in, like, uh, creeks, streams, and hills and that we haven't gone to. So I'm sure there's going to be a fair bit to try catching and working through there. But yeah, it feels like it was like night for a few, <sighs> 10 minutes and now it's completely gone to morning.
and still no interest on, like, even if it's not a bream, I would just, again, it's better to get anything going for your line than just kind of sits dead in the water waiting. Eh, we'll give it, again, another minute or two, just see if anything changes or shows an interest. And then keep working our way along. I know we picked up every... Yeah, we got everything from uh, the far east area. Though it looks like they started silver ranks, so... We should be into some interesting things. Although... One thing I haven't seen listed for the fishing challenges yet is it doesn't look like the bullheads are, like, uh, part of them. Like, I haven't seen a mission for an alpine or a European bullhead yet. And I think the rough is another one that... Hey, oh, I think that was another addition, so you can actually, like, rotate and get a full view of the models now in the handbook like this. God, but nothing? Okay, I'm going to pull that in. I'm just going to do that so I can swap this one to using a hook size 4. And see if we have better luck with that. And yeah, maybe we'll try the artificial corn. Now, I was just looking around to see if there's any indications to say, like, what time of day it currently is. Okay, it says it's 3.06 in the morning, so I have to assume that means we're still in uh, nocturnal hours, even if it doesn't look like it. But that might be one other little quality of life detail I would have, just, like... Could be in bottom right, bottom left, anywhere. Just like a little icon that kind of shows like what time of day it's considered as. Like have kind of like how when we load from the menu, you have the four icons. Just repeat that somewhere on the HUD, so that we know you're in dawn, you're at day, you're at dusk, or you're in night. Just that way you kind of know when you're kind of getting towards or what the time of day is if you have been playing a while to know like what you're going for, because. As it looks right now on Troll Sport, this does not look like 3 a.m. to me. I know that's probably pretty poorly informed because, again, with where this little uh, the game is set for its map or such, there are places up north you could have 3 a.m. be this bright, but it just feels like misleading in a way. <laughs> Ah, but nothing... I wonder if I even have to try tossing out to really deep water next. Ah, uh, we'll, again, just give another minute or two, and then we'll try that. Aside from the Xanders, we haven't had anything else go for what we've been trying here. And yeah, it basically says it's just right here. Hmm. Oh, okay, there we go. Finally something of interest. We'll see if we can actually handle this. Uh oh No, it's still taking line out as we're getting up to like 85% drag. Well, let's see if we can bring it in. Whatever it is, it's sizable, but it's not too bad. Just gotta keep trying to pump the rod and hopefully get it so that way. It's not trying to take out too much line on us. If we're lucky, this will be the bream, and we can take a little shop trip this episode 
and get that done before tomorrow. Uh, it's taken a fair bit to bring it into uh, range. I don't think it's an Atlantic Salmon. If it was, I think it would probably be a tougher fight and would be taking line out much more. Oh, never mind. It is a Salmon. Probably just a bronze rank or even smaller. There we go. Yeah, just a bronze Atlantic Salmon. Okay, toss you back. You're the type of fish we don't want to see. Let me try and think. Uh, da -da -da -da. Try over this way. I mean, that was quite a bit of distance out, so we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, I'll try to go for one more catch before we end up today's episode. Nope. Okay, well, that's a good sign, because we all have already got some interest. Uh, bad news is, though, I'm guessing it's another salmon. Yeah, it's always the hard part about fishing in the main uh, fjord waters. You always seem to get salmon on every setup you try using. When you're just trying for a bream, the salmon are just too annoying and put up a fair fight with our gear. Although it does still make me think I'd rather be fighting salmon than just sitting for minutes on end without anything going for the rod. I'm just gotta try working it in. Yeah, at least right now with our equipment, uh, it's not testing our s stuff too much that we have to worry about things snapping. So I am able to work it slowly, trying to drag it in. I just have to hope it doesn't get caught on the, uh... See, it's going by that one pillar out there. I'm kind of worried about if the line would snap if it got, uh, like, caught on it with how the fish is. Come on, yeah. Darn thing, run out of juice. Yeah, because I can't move from this spot. You are stationary as you're fighting a fish, so it's not like I could try holding the line up, walking down, and around that, so I don't have to worry about it. But we're getting it slowly brought in. This is at least going to be experience for uh, mastering the rod, which will give us, I think, some experience and currency boost once we've maxed it out, but... It does take a bit of fighting to bring it in. Oh, yeah, another salmon. Okay, I've got to figure out the better place to try casting for the bream. I don't know if it's I should be aiming more for shore and not out so far. There we go. What are you? Another bronze? Yeah, just another bronze. I mean, it's nice to see the credits come in from it, though. We do need to work at trying to save up all that we can. So you know what? I might just try... I'll try another cast over here. Just see what happens. And give it a little bit of time. I'll try reducing the friction breakdown a bit, too. Yeah, give this episode another couple of minutes or so, and then we'll end things off. I was hoping this weekend would go a little more quickly in. Okay, we got the bream. 
stop by the shop. We can go pick up the probably stronger line, although I'm not too sure about that. We are level 25, so we probably have a new uh, option there. How are we doing for funds? We're over 6,000. I'm trying to think of how we got over 6,000 funds so quickly, because I thought we were sitting around like only 3,000 to 4,000. Ooh. 3,000, 4,000. One, two. Okay, this might be what we're looking for. Although, it is testing our line, so maybe not. Uh, I'm guessing it's on the other salmon, because, yeah, it's getting a good long stretch in there. Okay, we'll land this, whatever it is. And then next episode, we'll probably have to see about trying to change things up a little bit for what we're using. We might actually stop by the shop in order to get the uh, preferred baits for the bream. Because I'd prefer to get those and just knock this one... You know, a little bit of a rumble there. I don't know if that's it dragging along bottom, or that was it, like, smacking one of the rocks out there. Yeah, it's... my guess is it's another salmon. I would highly, highly recommend before you play or go to Troll Spirit, you f at least get to, like, the gold ranks of Golden Ridge Reserve. Because if you have anything that does send you out fishing for, like, these main open areas on Troll Spirit, you're going to be contending with the salmon constantly. As you can see, they take a fair bit of gear to contend with. Oh, yeah. See, went right behind that uh, pillar thing there, and I couldn't do anything about it. I hate the Atlantic Salmon on this map because of that. Either make it so that way they only go for much higher things, or have, like, a dead zone that the Salmon don't get too close to shore. Because, tr like, if you were trying to go for European perch, you could also run into salmon would be striking your stuff there. Like, have it so the salmon are more in only these deeper areas. And for the shallower ones, where you trying for other smaller species, maybe don't have them be at. This it's just annoying to have them constantly going for your stuff when you're trying to avoid them as much as you can. But what we'll do is we'll end the episode for Call of Wild the Angler today... Uh, next episode, stop by the store, pick up some more gear, some other baits, and try to get these last two species we need to clear out Nock and Jean. But, it's nice to see the uh, time of day updates come out, and we'll definitely be making use of it in the future. But thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of the series. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, share in the comments right down below. Until I see you all in the next video or episode, anglers and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy angling.